feels like a good one too. <sighs> All right, y'all, after work, heading back to the creek, start to our weekend. Gonna see if we can't get him. We got a T-rig, got a spinner, and a swim jig today. Might tie on top water, I don't know. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get fishing. Alrighty, once again, try a couple casts at the pond before we go down into the creek. Heard something. Something. The bull frogs jump from bank to bank. A hip hop, hippity hop. Very nice, very good. Very good and very nice. Smells fishy over here like bluegill. Bet you there's all sorts of bluegill up in here. Alrighty, here we are once again <coughs> at this creek, the Los Gatos Creek. See if uh, these fish are or aren't a little more activated today. I've had some good stability in the weather, so that, that could benefit us. Very well could benefit us. Freaking bugs, dude. Stinking, freaking, freaking stinking bugs. Oh, yeah. Spot just has a ton of these little stinkers here, doesn't it? Can you see them on the camera? That is what is all over our spot. Looks like some cheese is starting to form on the water. Just retrieving a swim jig through this uh, otherwise pretty stagnant water right now. Just had a uh, sunfish follow it back. I think it was a bluegill. A wee bluegill. Actually looked like a pretty big bluegill to be honest with you. Good old Kraken Craw. Got it in the Bama Bug color. Today was uh, the day two of Lake Gunnersville in Alabama. So it, you know, obviously it was totally my intention to have Bama Bug because I was thinking about the fact that MLF is going on in Alabama right now. That's why we got it today. Almost was not good right there. Almost just cast into a tree and let's see if it backlashes on us. Nope, okay. Very good, very nice. Last time we walked up here, we scared off a couple of bass. So we're just gonna be real careful, real quiet, take it slow. Yeah, we see one right there. Just staring at the bank. Hasn't seen us yet. Hasn't seen us yet. Got him. Oh. We finally got him to bite. How did that even... Oh, the plastic blocked the hook point. Can we get the other one though? God damn it, dude. What are we doing wrong? There, we got you that time. You came back for it. Sorry, Jim Bob. Caught ya. There you go. You know what? Gonna throw a top water. That's what we're gonna do. We'll be right back. No, we didn't get our first top water fish of the year on camera. No, all right, well, we have to do it again. We just caught this guy on the whopper plopper. We're gonna get him back. Goodbye, bud. Oh. I'm gonna get you back, bud. There you go. 
We didn't get our topwater fish on camera. Oh God. Oh Jesus. How am I so freaking not smart? All right, well, let's do it again. If uh, one hit it on top, the chances of another hitting it on top are very doable. like a pound and a half on the whopper plopper it's not bad <sighs> we saw like three blow-ups over here and we just got hit on the whopper plopper over there so eh. Eh. Uh, we just got hit. All right, well, we got the hit on camera. There we go. That one feels a little better than a dink. Come here. Don't go in the weeds. Thank you, sir. Thank you for participating in the let Gary catch some topwater fish fun. All right. Well, we got the blow up on camera, which is pretty cool. It's not as big as the other one that we caught, but I will take all of the topwater hits that I can get. Jimmy here, hit topwater. Let's see how many we can get before we lose all our light. So we caught a pound on bed, a pound and a half on the plopper, a uh, like 12 ouncer on the plopper. Love it, dude. Freaking love it. I love top water. We're racing with the sun right now for this video. The action has started. All right, let's go back to our backpack and make sure we don't have our stuff yoinked from us after this cast. Take these sunglasses off so I know what the actual light level is like. Well, sorry guys, we didn't get that, uh, that first pound and a half fish on camera. But as you saw by that little under a pounder, they are hit in top water and we saw one other hit that missed the that missed the lure before we caught that little little guy back there. Yep. Little guy, but still a fish. Scheme it. Thank you, bud. Look at how he ate it. Very nice. It's a little bigger, a little thicker than that last one. Yes, sir, right before the battery's about to die, let's get him back. Whoop. All right, y'all. Last time we were here, we found a little afternoon topwater bite. So we came back with only two rods, the uh, T-Rig and the plopper. We're gonna see if we can't make anything happen again tonight. Let's get out there. Right off the bat, we see a big old bass right here, but it's gonna be hard to land if we can land him. I don't even know how we're gonna cast at him, to be honest with you. This is gonna be risky and that's why this is going to be fun I bet that bass is already gone I think we probably already scared him I'd imagine maybe we'll wind up throwing that top water a little sooner than we thought we would but I, I really want to see if I can't 
get this guy to bite even a little. Let's turn those brakes all the way up. He's getting annoyed. You kind of suck at guarding the nest, don't you? There we go. Got him. Hey, hey, hey. Not a bad one either. Get him back quick. His jaw feels like it might be a little messed up, but got Buddy here. It's about two pounds. Let's get him back in the water. Yes, sir. Got him. Feels like a good one too. Alright, that's a good one. Oh, that was a good one. And we lost him. Damn it. We were fighting him too hard, weren't we? Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, dude. That was a nice one. That was the nicest one that we've seen out of the creek, personally. Eh, it happens. If we had got him, we would have had to fight him around so much grass right here, dude. Oh my goodness. Bane of my existence. Alright y'all, once again, we're back here at the creek. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going, man? Just starting. How about yourself? Ah, uh, man. I lost, uh, last night on that whopper plopper, I lost a big one. Nice. You too. Oh, it's all good, man. Go for it. I was just gonna look underneath this tree branch right here. I saw him earlier. Oh yeah. You can you can walk past me. It'll be fine. No, it's all good, man. Sure. Yeah. Time was I cast it from here, dude? Yeah. Because <laughs> when I came by, can I, when I came by where we got, I saw him pop up and chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Stole a freaking claw, dude. He's one with a little bit of blue, black and blue, I think. It's actually viable right now. I think that little bit of blue flake actually might be actually a little extra helpful right now. For some reason the fish in here really don't like black colored lures. Howdy. Hey, what's up, man? Not much. How's it going? Good. Just working on a bed fish right over here behind me. Where? Right there in that corner. Yeah, I like your YouTube videos, by the way. Oh, uh, thanks, dude. Yeah, appreciate you, that. Subscribe. Uh, I'm always like commenting on your videos too. Oh yeah, what was your name on Bruno? there? Bruno. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice to meet nice you, man. Nice to meet you too, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, I just got you too, like not that long ago. Alright, man. Well, nice seeing you. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, you too, man. Got him. Got him? Yep. Water? No. It was the better. The one that was bedding? Yeah. yeah. Right. Little craw. Little no, I just want the Texas rig craw. Nice. Alright. <laughs> this little guy. Yeah, he, he's kind of thick. Alright, you guys. Got this uh, little bed fish right here. A little smaller than the one we caught yesterday so just for fun 
Let's see what he what he comes in at. Ah, calm down, guy. He's gonna do it again. 1.7. It's probably the male. The 2.11 that guy caught probably was the female. Let's go get him back. All right, y'all. Putting Jimmy back on his bed. There he goes. Right back where he was guarding. Got one. <laughs> First top water of the day. Little guy, but we'll take him. No matter what, top water is always fun, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jimmy, for participating looking for your uncle lost your uncle your grandfather probably yesterday but we're gonna get you back there he goes yo nice i just got one on the top water Let's see does he still have it he just got one on the ultralight it's a good fight on an ultralight yeah yeah, it's a respectable, it's a nice one pounder. Yeah, not bad, right? Yeah. Not bad for an ultralight fish. Heck yeah. Um, I guess maybe the other one that I caught wasn't as big as this one. So this is probably closer to a pound. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yeah, and the other one that I uh, that that broke me off is probably probably about this size. Yeah, dude's got a big head for his size too. Yeah, not bad. Let me get him in. Yeah. Okay, last cast after this one. Alright, last cast. Okay, that was the last cast. Haha, uh -huh, just kidding, this is the last cast. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up our uh, video here at Los Gatos Creek. Caught a few on beds, and we caught some topwater fish, and we lost one big one. Uh, you'll see it in the video, but I need to rewatch the footage. I need to see what it looked like, because you know, who I was fighting could have been a three pounder, could have been a six pounder, but I need to see if you know, a close up on it, on the playback. Anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be coming at you with more Creek content. Peace.